In this video, we're going to explore the awesomeness of adjustment layers. Now, I have a very cool little Photoshop document open here, and it's a texture file for a wooden crate that I'm building over in Moto. And I've spent some uh, a considerable amount of time working on uh, creating all these individual panels and all these individual boards for the uh, for all the front faces of my wooden, wood, little wooden crate. And if you look over here in my layers palette, um, yeah, I got a bunch of them. I got probably, uh, I don't know, probably almost 40 different little wooden slats here that make up a lot of little faces, okay? And there's just a bunch of them in there. So what we're going to look at here is adjustment layers and how we can use adjustment layers to affect large quantities of layers inside of, inside of our scene. I know I have a little bit of a problem here, and I know that I need to go in and, um, you know, just increase the saturation of this texture just a little bit, okay? Because if you look at it, it's kind of almost desaturated. It looks a little monochromatic to me. And I really want some of the browns and oranges of the wood grain just to pop off the screen a little bit. So I need to go in and globally adjust the colors of, these, of, of, of this panel. Now, this panel is comprised of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different layers over here in my layers palette. So I need to have a system at my disposal that allows me to do, uh, to globally affect all seven of these layers, because there's no way in the world I'm going through all 40 of these layers and applying the exact same hue and saturation effect. Thus enter the role of adjustment layers. Adjustment layers inside of Photoshop uh, allow us to control and uh, affect uh, large quantities of layers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the very top of my screen where it says layer and check it out. We have new adjustment layer and we have a whole bunch of different types of adjustment layers that we can apply to our scene. Now I'm just going to do a simple levels adjustment layer which is basically uh, uh, an empty layer that's having the levels effect applied to it. Okay, so let's just add it to our scene and uh, we'll just call this levels, give it a good name and hit OK. Now where it's placed inside of my scene is really, really important, okay? We're gonna come back to this adjustments tab just in a minute, and I want you to focus on where this adjustment layer is placed, okay? So check it out. Here's the icon for an adjustment layer, and currently it's on top. It's above and on top of all the other layers of my little wooden planks, okay? And I got a bunch of them. Adjustment layers, whatever adjustment layer you have, is only going to affect the layers below it. So these guys up above the adjustment layer, they're not being affected by this levels call. Only what's below the adjustment layer will be affected and edited, okay? So let's explore how we can use this adjustment layer to increase the saturation, maybe pop the wood grain out just a little bit. Double clicking on the adjustment layer icon, We'll open up the adjustment layer tab. And from this tab, you can see that what we got here is nothing more than just the standard levels effect. I still get the standard sliders. I still get everything that I'm used to seeing just in a little tab. And now once I, you know, I started editing the, uh, the, the colors uh, of my image with my levels effect, you can see that it's updating all of them at once in real time. And it's only affecting the layers below the adjustment layer. Okay, it's a pretty fantastic system. I love it. Okay, because it allows us to globally affect a lot of options at the same time. In addition, I'm, well, I'm going to show you something. I'm just going to double click on this tab to get my my real estate back for my for my layers palette. And in addition, check it out. It also comes with a mask. Okay, so now I think you're probably going, "Whoa, dude, this is awesome!" Because now, since it's being controlled by a mask, we can go in and interactively paint where we want this effect to happen. So we don't have to globally affect anything. We can get very, very specific. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to turn this off by uh, basically filling my layer mask here with black. Okay, so just fill. And I'm going to choose black. And now my layer mask has been uh, completely flooded with black, thus rendering this uh, adjustment layer basically off. And now we're back to our same old boring, satur or desaturated, uh, desaturated image. Well, check it out. If I just let me grab a nice soft brush here, I grab a nice big one. There we go. I'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Actually, that. There we go. There we go. And actually, I wanted to create one with a hardness value. Yeah, check it out. 
Now I can just paint, and I think you can see the difference. Where I painted in my adjustment layer, I'm getting the effect. Where it's unpainted, where it's black over here in my image mask, it's not affecting it at all. So this is fantastic because now we can go in, we can interactively uh, adjust and uh, uh, tell, you know, adjust the the effect of this adjustment layer. We can use brushes, we can use vector shape tools, we can use all of the traditional image editing tools that we have at our, at our disposal inside of Photoshop to change this image mask. Shoot, I could even go up to the top and blur this bad boy because these layer masks, they're nothing more more than an image. This is nothing fancy. It's just a black and white image. And since we're in the world's greatest uh, image editor, we can use all of those image editing tools to affect how our image mask is going to be applied to our scene. So there we go. I'm just kind of smoothing. I'm, by blurring it, I'm smoothing the transition between where the effect is on and where the effect is off. So it's off over here in the black. And then as it transitions into the white, you can see a nice, nice, uh, a nice transition there. It's pretty cool, huh? So adjustment layers. It's our way of globally affecting the entire scene. It affects all the layers that are below the adjustment layer. So all of these guys are getting affected. All the layers above it. Not one bit. So this guy right here is not being affected by the adjustment layer because it's above. It's above the adjustment layer in the layer order. So that's adjustment layers in Photoshop.